Oh, you know. So then other than making all of this money that we've talked about, what would keep you from doing business with me today? Well, you know, I think uh, your the commission is a is a little bit steep than what we were originally thinking, and um, uh, another agent said they do it for a total of four percent. Well, uh, I, I guess I can appreciate that. Um, I will say that you get what you pay for. Um, you know, we commissions are pretty standard in the industry and if uh, an agent needs to reduce their commission to get a transaction uh, I can only imagine mm -hmm. that they would they're going to reduce their services uh, as well um, you know you you, you, you you pay a standard commission you get you get you know ex excellent service um, you know the lower commission you pay typically um, you know, there's there's no incentive uh, for them to, to work hard for you. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Well, okay. Um, would you take a 30-day listing? Uh, I prefer not to. Um, you know, okay. I think in all, all fairness, uh, uh, you know, 60 days would probably be best. Um, you know, most houses do sell under 30 days, but uh, I, I, I think to be fair, uh, 60 days would be better. Okay, well, I, uh, uh, thanks for coming out. Um, I, I think I got all I wanted to hear. We just need some, uh, we'll need a little bit of time to think about it before we make our final decision. So what, what exactly would you be thinking about? Is it, is it really coming down to the money for you? I mean, other than the money, is there any reason you wouldn't want to do business with me today? Well, we just, uh, we just want to, you know, give it, give it another 24 hours before we make our final decision. So, I need to have a better overcome objection right there. Okay. Okay. Great. These are the three objections we're going to be working on. And uh, Jim, you're going to be next. We're going to go through the same three, almost in the same order. You ready? I play a little different, so bring it. Okay. You know, Jim, um, you know, I appreciate everything you said. You know, it sounds like, you know, you've got the, the background, the skills, the knowledge, the pricing is all right. Um, would you handle and do or sell for 4%? You know, uh, Todd, I certainly appreciate where you're coming from. Um, okay. I, too, uh, had the same experience when I went to sell my own uh, property in Lake Stevens. I was mm -hmm. trying to be, lack of better words, frugal, uh, trying to save on commission. And I listed my house uh, being, you know, the selling agent i didn't have to pay any dollars, but i did list my house at two percent and this is a true story um there's not a reason in the world uh why i was hearing nothing but crickets uh, for a week and a half because i did list my house at two percent and it was deadly quiet i why do you think that is well you know it's just the reality uh, ironically when i changed it to two and a half percent i got all kinds of traffic and i was under contract within the second day after doing such i tell all of my clients never ever ever do two percent the industry norm is six percent three percent for the buying agent three percent for the selling agent the going into 5% is somewhat negotiable, but um, at the end of the day, I would never, ever advise a client to do 4%, whether I get that listing or not. I would never do 4%. I would never suggest that to anybody. You're going to get what you pay for. You're going to get nothing but headaches and stress. I would, I would certainly have a conversation with you about doing five, but I will not do four. Hmm. Well, um, okay. Well, appreciate you. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that. And would you do a 30 day listing? Why do you want to do 30 days? Well, you know, if it doesn't work out, I want to be able to, you know, make a, make a, a, a quick pivot because you, you, you know, we never know what's going to happen. Understood. So on day one, 
I'm going to throw anything and everything at it. And actually, to be perfectly honest with you, when we sit down and sign this listing agreement this, this morning, mm -hmm. today's going to count as day one, in my opinion. And okay. I will give you my word. Uh, I want, I, I, so I'm going to be putting forth expenses. I'm paying for the photography. I'm okay. paying for all of the social media marketing, all of the okay. uh, MLS marketing, all of the flyers, the sign. I'm I'm burdening that expense up front. Okay? okay. As you know, when I get the house under contract and we sell, then I get mm -hmm. reimbursed for those costs, of course. So, mm -hmm. 30 days puts me a little at risk. I'm not saying that I don't believe that we can have this under contract in 30 days. It's just okay. there's always potential, right? It all comes down to probabilities and possibilities, right? Anything's possible, okay. but it's not really probable. We should. I have every intention of having this thing under contract, in my experience, within two weeks. Um, okay. I will give you this. Let's put the listing agreement for 60 days, and any time between now and those and those 60 days, uh, you're feeling uh, discomfort or dissatisfaction. Let me know. Let's have that conversation. We'll make necessary adjustments, and if it all comes down to it, after all of this, you're dissatisfied. I'm feel I would be happy to let you go. I don't want a dissatisfied customer. That is not that is not what I'm in business okay. for. Well, I you know thank you so much for for that ex explanation and your flexibility. Um, uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of time. I'm going to think about it and I'll get back to you. Well, let me do this. I I totally understand okay. you. You don't want the knee jerk reaction. I operate the same way. Uh, I've given you all of the information we agreed on the my marketing strategy my pricing strategy uh you know i'm the right fit for the job um let me let me do this let me step out for uh, a few minutes for 15 minutes and let you and your wife talk about it and come back and let's we'll sit down and address any further uh concerns of yours and if there aren't any let, let's sign the listing agreement and get this day one going today Okay, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Great, we're getting a lot of different perspectives and ideas and approaches. Merrily, you're next. Uh, so, uh, Merrily, would you? Um, go ahead. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, Merrily, I have a, another agent, uh, another brokerage that said they'd do it for a total of 4%. So, is this, where did this client come from? I missed that part. We're a listing. We're handling objections. Is it like a referral or online? Are we in person or it doesn't matter? Doesn't, it, okay. it, 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 it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. So, um, well, uh, you know, thank you for talking with me today. And um, yeah. uh, if you don't know, I do want to let you know that I have been number one in our office this year and number two in the state. I've been doing this for decades. So I do know mm -hmm. what I'm doing. I just had a listing that went under contract in three days, and I got 15000 over listing by negotiating. So you're asking me to go uh, with, um, you're saying another broker has uh, promised you 4% commission. Um, what I would like to do is set up an appointment to come over and take a look at your property. I haven't been there. Well, we're, we're, we are already at the listing appointment. We're, we're at the oh, end of the I'm listing the appointment. I'm at the house. Okay. Yeah, we had a listing appointment. Okay. So, um, and you want 4%. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> I mean, for me personally, if there's a lot of other brokers involved and I'm not the only one, I could probably do a little bit of negotiating here. But I'm also going to show you exactly what it costs me to list your house. And what you're going to get is top quality and the best. I'm going to bring my team in, and we're going to be efficient, and we're going, okay. to, we're going to take over the entire process because I know what I'm doing. And um, if you want okay. to be discounted in the commission, then you're um, going to have some options in covering some of the other items, such as staging, okay. um, signage, photography, cleaning, 
there's a lot that goes into this. So okay, that's kind of where I'm coming at right now. Okay. What do you think about that? Okay, well, I appreciate that. And thank you so much for the explanation. That really makes sense. Um, would you take a 30 day listing? Would you list it for 30 days? Yes, I have no problem doing that. But let me explain this to you because this is what I do. And I've done it for a very long time. Um, we can do a 30 day listing, but we don't really have a lot of control over on once we get under contract. Um, because that that kind of goes under the umbrella of the lending process, the production process, the appraisal. And uh, yes, of course, we want a 30 day listing. We all do. I want to get you top dollar and I want to get it to you as fast as I possibly can get it to you. But sometimes it takes a little longer than a 30 day. Um, I don't mind signing that up, but be prepared to extend a little bit. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your flexibility. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to need to give it a little bit of time to think about, and we'll get back to you. That sounds great. Um, just ask, let me know if you have any questions. I will swing okay. back around with you shortly because I want you to think about it a little bit. Once again, I do have one of the top teams in the area. I know what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been doing this for decades and, um, mm -hmm. you know, the numbers, the numbers talk for themselves. This is what we do. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's get you some awesome. money and sell your house. <laughs> Let's do Perfect. it. Perfect. Thanks. All right. Okay. I'm. I guess I'm on the chopping block now. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Todd. I want you okay. to sell my house. I've got 20 other agents who said they will do it for four percent and sell it within a month. Wow. And yet here I am, and you haven't listed with him yet, huh? Not yet, because I right. wanna, I want to make sure I get the best agent. Yeah, you want to get the highest possible price for the lowest amount of commission. Yeah. Yeah. Let me explain why that four percent is probably not the best approach. It is an approach, but it's not the best approach. You see, when it when it comes down to the bottom line how much you put in your purse when this whole deal is done depends it upon the ability for your broker to negotiate on your behalf. Would you agree? Yeah. Sure. And since those other brokers don't feel the value in their own service, how are they going to be able to market any and explain the value for your property if they can't believe in their own services? So what I'm saying is by their best approach to get your business is to negotiate their value down in order just to get your business. That's the same approach they're going to take to get your home sold. Is that what you want? Mm, I just want it sold. Exactly. Top dollar. Perfect. And that's what we're going to do by paying more. You're going to get more by paying less. Generally, the rule of thumb is you're going to get what? Less. Let's just do this. Come on. Oh, you want? It? Oh, you mean let's just do this right now? Yep. Would you have like a contract in your pocket? It's right. It's right there in front of you, opened on the table with a pin on top. <laughs> well, I need my daughter to look at it. Okay, it's a thirty days. Thirty day. We yeah. list it for thirty days. Yeah, well, you let, I, yeah, and I want it listed for 30 days. What's going 30 days, okay. Is it that you want your property to be sold in 30 days? Or do you just want to give me a couple of weeks to get it sold? I want the money in my pocket. And if you don't okay. sell it in 30 days, I want you to pay me $500 a day over. Sure. So let's do this. If you want to have a 30-day listing, let's reduce your price by 3%. So we can ensure that both you and I get what we want. Yeah. Yeah. Highest possible price in the shortest period of time. Otherwise, I will shave this down from six months to three months. By the way, if you weren't already aware that in this state, these are bilateral contracts. What that means is either party can release each other by written notice. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if I don't have this property sold in 30 days, I'll fire myself. You won't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay. It's never been an issue. 
So would you like to go ahead and get started today? Yes. You're the oh, I have to think about it. I need to think about it. <laughs> Let me think about it. Let me think about okay. it. Okay. Great. You know, that it's an important decision you're making in determining in who you want to hire, how you want to do this, and at the end of the day, what you're going to be putting in your purse. I think from our discussion, in fact, I don't think there's any thinking anymore. I think that is just a belief whether or not I can get this job done. There is no doubt in my mind, 100%, that I can get this job to get your home sold. Do you believe, as well as I believe, that I can get your home sold? I believe it now. Well, let's just go ahead and get started then. I cannot wait to get your home sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to uh, say reduce your price and come on aggressively. There, there's another approach to this. Press in one more time. I want to think about it for 24 hours. Okay. Uh, yeah, I want to think about this for 24 yeah. hours. Okay. Um, let's do this. Um, I, I will put a hold on everything because I respect the ability for you to want to think about it. And I don't want to have you feel any pressure. Although the pressure you feel from me asking you to sign is minimum compared to the pressure I'm going to put on other agents and other buyers to get it sold. So if you think you're feeling pressure now, imagine what's going to be like when you hire me to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so we can do this, and that way we don't have to come back and sign it, make another appointment, and to do all this, you know, another meeting. I'll put in here a 24 hour wait period. That way, we can sign everything right now, and in 24 hours, if you still feel as confident as I am right now that I can get your job sold, we don't have to meet, we don't have to do a computer signing, we can get it all handled, and I'll order to get, get started. So I'm going to write here on the contract, 24 hour, time for about 24 hour, no think about it, period, <laughs> call me back into tomorrow morning, call me back tomorrow morning, or I'll use the gym approach. Let me step out so you two can talk without having a salesperson in front of you. I'll come back in, and your yes will be a yes, your no will be a yo, and we'll get started the other way. Yeah, that's really good. I want to take notes on that. Yeah. I also, uh, in my listing presentations, include a um, InfoSparks uh, chart that shows my uh, sold to listing price uh, over the standard agent in Snohomish County. And I'm actually, or was in 2021, uh, above it. I was running about 106%. And so I forgot to speak. Okay. So when, uh, what I hear you saying is that during the commission discussion, you can refer back to the info sparks and look at your, um, uh, sales price, and if you don't have a really valid one, you can use the offices. Correct. Look, our office, on average, is getting 100.4% 100, 100 above listing, uh, asking over listing. If you're talking about uh, agencies that have a typical discount, they're getting 101.3%. And you can look up the you can look up the help you sells or the savvy broker, okay? But and do firm to firm comparison. That is, if you have you know done your homework and confirmed the listing appointment before going out, in anticipation of this objection. But sometimes it'll sneak up on you too. Generally speaking, when well, you're going on, you're going in from a referral. It, it mm -hmm. usually pretty. It's usually pretty smooth. We get those ones that sneak up on you too. Yeah, I don't go out on too many where I have competition. I really don't. Yeah. But so, Mary Lee, when you, I, I noticed that you gave Todd the opportunity 
you you were going to leave and give him the opportunity to think about it. Uh, you didn't really drill him down for the ask, uh, per se. Do you have a high success of going away and and getting the, the... backs? The... Yeah, the cold um, backs. I don't. I don't really have to do that. Like I just said, I don't generally have a lot of competition on my my listing. I don't really do a lot of listing appointments. I just their referrals or if they call from like online advertising, I capture them on the phone. And just like like it's just them and me. It's just from my training. There's nobody else that exists. But yes, every now and then I've last year we've gone out and had other brokers um, competing and like one was a horse farm ow, ow. um and we didn't get it but i was not mm -hmm. a horse expert you know i offered to bring somebody in who was and i don't know what they ended up getting um they wouldn't tell me you know what yeah. we negotiated but um i remember telling celine we're up against a lot of brokers. we're going to have to go in i think with a lower commission than what we usually charge um you know i just charge 6.5 on my listing um, you know mm -hmm. i think when you're going against other brokers you you i think you should expect to maybe try to be a little more competitive with everything and but i i don't do that a whole lot well you know you never know when you're going to get the sign call get yeah. an internet inquiry yeah. that, hey, you know, I'm putting my house on the market. We're talking to a few brokers. We'd like to get your price opinion. I saw your sign in our neighborhood. Yeah, and I'm not the expert on that. So the stuff talk, you guys all said, I, I took notes on all of it. So I'll try to remember it when that does happen to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And, you know, it, it's good to just to have that uh, available to practice yeah. this. Yeah. So when it does show up, and if you are engaged in real estate practices, it's going to show up. Yes, and then also we're prepared now because we have it in notes and we can practice it instead of be like blindsided. And mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, oh nice! Wow, that's my office right now. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. got like a two so inches gonna... of snow last night. Yeah, there's there's no snow here. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, That's a big beach. Uh, yeah, it's right outside the resort, and uh, heading back to uh, heading back to my towel, and I'm going to jump in the ocean because I'm really hot right now, and <laughs> so I'm going to get going. All right. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys. Make it thank a great you. day. Bye. See